In the heart of Java Island, a crisis lurks in the shadows, casting a menacing shadow over the lives of its people. It is a story of imminent disaster, akin to the gripping pages of a captivating novel. Brace yourself for a tale that will tug at your heartstrings, engulf your senses, and leave you yearning for a flicker of optimism. Picture this, a once vibrant land, known for its bountiful forests and fertile soil, now succumbing to the clutches of an environmental catastrophe. Java Island, a place where life thrived, now teeters on the brink of disaster. Few are aware of the true reason behind the government's decision to abandon its capital, but the truth is as haunting as a secret whispered in the night. In a world overwhelmed by illusions and manufactured realities, it becomes crucial to pierce through the veil of deception. The allure of hyperreality can blind even the most discerning eye, preventing us from seeing the harsh realities that lie before us. Corruption scandals and political upheavals capture our attention, while the land beneath our feet crumbles away, unnoticed. The signs of decay are there, if one dares to look. Rainfall, once abundant, dwindles with each passing year. The heavens weep less, their tears unable to quench the thirst of the parched land. Springs that once brought life to the island are disappearing, vanishing into thin air like whispers on the wind. It is a grave omen, a dire warning that cannot be ignored. But who is to blame for this tragedy? Nature bears its share of responsibility, with diminishing rainfall and the relentless march of global warming. Yet it is the hand of man that has dealt the cruelest blow. Lush forests, once standing proud, have fallen victim to the insatiable desire for progress. In their place now stand vast plantations and concrete jungles. The fertile earth, once kissed by the sun and nurtured by the rain, now serves as a mere stepping stone for industrialization and urbanization. Unchecked development, like a wildfire raging out of control, has taken its toll on the delicate balance of the island. Water catchment areas, once a lifeline for the people, have been sacrificed at the altar of progress. The consequences are dire. Floods ravage the land during the rainy season, and in the dry months, water becomes scarce, a precious commodity worth more than gold. Imagine the plight of the people, the 170 million souls who call Java Island home. Each passing year brings them closer to the edge of a precipice. By 2040, their water supply will dwindle to a mere shadow of its former self. A half-filled glass where once it overflowed with abundance. The very essence of life, water, will become a luxury few can afford. The island, once a testament to fertility and prosperity, has transformed into a desolate wasteland. The bountiful fields have given way to sprawling settlements and smoke-belching factories. It is a world turned upside down, where progress has come at the expense of the very land that sustains us. But amidst the darkness, a glimmer of hope emerges, a call to action, a plea for change. To avert this cataclysm, we must come together, hand in hand, and embrace sustainable solutions. Reforestation becomes our shield, replenishing the land with life-giving trees and preserving the sanctity of water catchment areas. We must be vigilant stewards of this precious resource, harvesting rainwater, recycling what we can, and reducing wastage. Sustainable agriculture must take root, with precision irrigation and agroforestry leading the way. Let us educate the masses, raise their awareness of the crisis at hand, and instill within them the importance of conservation. The government, in its role as guardian, must enact policies and regulations that protect the land and its water sources. Economic gains must be tempered by the long-term sustainability of our resources. Investment in water infrastructure becomes paramount. Dams and reservoirs will stand as beacons of hope, capturing and storing the lifeblood of the island. Water treatment plants will purify what remains, ensuring its availability to those in need. Collaboration becomes our strength as we seek the support of international partners, local communities, and NGOs. Together, we can face this challenge head-on, armed with determination and a shared vision. In this tale of hardship and redemption, the fate of Java Island hangs in the balance. The water crisis looms, threatening the very fabric of life. Will we be mere bystanders? 
passive witnesses to the island's demise? Or will we rise, like phoenixes from the ashes, and fight for a better future? The choice is ours, and ours alone. Let us weave a new chapter, one of resilience and stewardship. The time for action is now. For Java Island and its inhabitants, it is a battle against time, a race to preserve what remains. Will we triumph, or will the waters run dry, leaving us with nothing but regrets? Only time will tell.